I'm Alyssa Dazet, the six-figure acupuncturist, and I went from broke and struggling in my practice to six-figure year after year after year, and now I've helped thousands of acupuncturists all around the world with the success of their practices, and now I'm going to help you too. For the best practice building advice to help you get patients, build successful practices, and help to heal the world, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there before you leave today. I believe that anyone can reprogram their mindset. Specifically today, we're gonna to talk about the money mindset. Too many of you are struggling financially for no reason. I get it, I was you. Until I finally got help. Then I had my first six figure year in 2013 and I have never gone below that since. Here are a bunch of really common money mindsets that I personally experience and that I see in practitioners that stops you from having a successful and abundant practice. You don't know how to make money. You don't believe you can make money. You feel guilty taking money. You blame your parents or your spouse or your friends for your own personal financial struggles. You think you're not smart enough. You feel overwhelmed when you think about money. You're afraid to make more money than your spouse. You think money comes with trouble. You're afraid that you'll lose the money after you get the money. You're afraid that you'll have to work hard. You think you'll lose your freedom. You judge people that have money. You just simply have no idea how to make more money, but you've never reached out for help. Let me know down in the comments which of these money mindsets or a different money mindset do you find yourself thinking on a regular basis? On top of recognizing these money mindsets in ourselves, we can also project these onto our patients. So even though a patient might have no problem at all paying your full prices, you're projecting your money fears onto them and therefore you're blocking all the financial abundance that was gonna easily flow your way. So as I mentioned, when I first started out, I had a massive scarcity money mindset and I didn't even realize this. I had no idea how much this was actually impacting my ability to succeed in the first two years when I was in business and completely struggling. So today, we're gonna go over three ways that I use to improve my money mindset. In the beginning, I was programmed with thinking that I would always have only just enough because somehow growing up, that was the money mindset message that got programmed into me. So not until I realized this and I rewrote that money story did I break that scarcity mindset thinking. And that's the first thing that helped me improve my money mindset was rewriting my money story. What do you say about money? How do you feel about money? How do you use money? What do you believe about money and is it empowering for you or is it disempowering for you? Your money story is the entirety of your relationship with money. You don't get to choose your money story in the beginning. So there's really nothing to feel shame about when you start to uncover your money story because shame is very often connected with our money mindsets. Your money story was programmed into you through the messages that you heard about money by the adults that you were surrounded with growing up. So you simply want to identify how you're thinking and feeling about money without judging yourself for anything that you uncover. Next, you want to examine what you find. You want to identify any limiting beliefs and you want to rewrite them in opposing and empowering language. For instance, my money story always consisted of me having just enough money to get by. 
And when I rewrote that, I said that I always have an abundance of money that is easily coming to me. And this was the new message that I continued to tell myself over and over and over and over again. And that's the next part of this, is that when you observe your old money story coming up again in your thoughts, you want to shift it to your new empowering money story. And you do that again and again and again and again. Identifying and rewriting my money story was one of the top ways that I improved my money mindset. So make sure that you take the time to do this exercise. A second way that I improved my money mindset was by getting myself ready for all the abundance that was coming my way. Fact is, most of us are not conscious about the money that we're spending and we don't understand how money works. This leaves us with an out of control feeling about our finances. I certainly used to feel this way. So then when more money does come to us, because it always does come to us, we are left with this feeling of out of control because we haven't prepared ourselves to receive it. Along with readying your inner world, which is your mindset and your money story, you also have to ready your outer world. And you do this by educating yourself about money. I read books, I watched YouTube videos, I spoke with friends who work in the financial world, and I still do all of this. And then on top of that, you need to take note of what's happening in your current financial world. Do you have any debt? Do you have car loan debt? Do you have school loan debt? Do you have credit card debt? If you do have school loan debt, what type of repayment plan are you on? How much interest is going on that every month? What is your current payment? Is there any capitalized interest? Which accounts do you currently have open and are using? Savings account, retirement account, emergency money account. And are you adding to these accounts regularly with an automated system based off of a percentage of your net take home income every month? Organizing the inner workings of what your money is doing and where it's going is so important to improve your money mindset. Too many people would rather not look at what they have going on financially and ignore it because their financial worries get the best of them. That is the worst thing you can do. You want to do opposite land of that and take a look at everything and always know how much money you have, where it's going, what your debt is, and be very, very close in a relationship with your money. A healthy relationship with your money, not a toxic relationship with your money. It's that understanding of knowing what you have going on financially, having a financial plan of action, and a plan of how to allocate your money when it does come in. All of this puts you in control. It stabilizes your money. It makes it feel more secure. It makes it feel more safe. And it readies you for all the abundance that's coming your way. A third way that I improve my money mindset is by appreciating my money. When you're looking at the world around you, you're either seeing and feeling a lack in everything or seeing and feeling an abundance in everything. And you're always gonna get what you look for, which is why it's so important to train yourself to see the abundance in everything. Instead of thinking, I only have 30 bucks, I'll shift that and I'll think, thank goodness I have 30 bucks. Every penny counts. I'll always thank and appreciate the money that I do have. When you start to look at the world around you and experience everything in abundance instead of everything in lack, then your entire experience of life can shift. So you want to start to cultivate an attitude of gratitude with your finances. For every little last penny and every time that you use money, Celebrate it. Every time that you use money, think in your head how appreciative that you are that you have this money to use. Even if it's just buying a cup of tea, give thanks 
for those $4 that allows you to buy that tea. Marie Forleo, who is an online entrepreneur, has stated that every time she uses money in her head, she'll state this. There's more where that came from. And that is a super abundant mindset. I love it. If you find yourself complaining about anything financial, I want you to use it as an opportunity to practice shifting your thoughts to financial appreciation. Practice that appreciation every single chance you get. Just take a moment and think about how blessed you really actually are. When you start to practice thinking this way, being appreciative for everything that you actually do have instead of everything that you don't have, you'll start to experience abundance everywhere and in everything, including in your finances. For more tips and inspiration on how to be the best acupuncturist that you can be, be sure to apply to be in my free public Facebook group, The Seven Step System. Here you'll be surrounded by other positive, supportive, non-judgmental acupuncturists, and you'll get exclusive trainings from me on how to use the seven step system to help you get patients, feel confident, and thrive as a practitioner. Apply at the link below to join that group. Give this video a like, a heart, a comment, and share this with an acupuncture buddy because community is what we're creating to help our profession prosper. I love you, keep healing the world, and let's mainstream Eastern medicine.